Coming up on GND Weekly, details on the Division's beta, info on a new Nintendo 3DS XL, a release date for Mortal Kombat XL, and new gameplay from Far Cry Primal. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Gamer Next Door Weekly. I'm your host, Andrea Renee, rounding up the gaming news for you for today, Friday, January 22nd. So let's get started. First up is news from Ubisoft's forthcoming action open world RPG shooter hybrid mashup thing that is Tom Clancy's The Division. If you're not familiar, the game centers around groups of tactical sleeper agents in New York City. Trained in emergency response, your unit is activated after a pandemic dubbed Black Friday sweeps through the city, leaving society in chaos. So basically, classic Tom Clancy. Xbox One owners will get the chance to play the game's beta first, starting January 28th. PlayStation 4 and PC players will be able to start just one day later on the 29th. The beta will feature some story missions and time in the Dark Zone, which is a multiplayer area featuring player versus player action where you'll go head to head against other tactical units to earn new gear for your character. You might want to give yourself some time to preload the beta though, it's a big file. According to Reddit user Legget213, the PC download is over 26 gigabytes. You guys can start preloading 48 hours before the beta launches, according to the game's Facebook page. So how do I get beta access, you are wondering? Well, I'll tell you. You need to pre-order the game for your platform of choice. Now, if you guys want to learn more, you can check out gameplay from Mike's recent press event right here. And don't forget, Tom Clancy's The Division launches on March 8th. Next up, Nintendo had a media blitz this week and it was good news for Nintendo 3DS fans. The handheld system had a slew of special editions and the newest one is the Fire Emblem Fates Edition which will launch on February 19th alongside the debut of the Japanese role-playing game Fire Emblem Fates Birthright and Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. Artwork from the game is featured on the hardware which you can pick up for $199.99. As with most 3DS special editions, this will probably sell out pretty quickly Quickly, so if you guys are loving it, get your hands on it quickly. Nintendo also revealed a collector's edition for Bravely Second and Lair, the upcoming sequel to another popular Japanese role-playing game, Bravely Default. This edition includes the game, a 10-song original soundtrack, a 250-page deluxe art book, all for $69.99. The game launches on April 15th, but you guys can try before you buy it with a demo. That demo is going to be called The Ballad of the Three Cavaliers, and it will be in Nintendo's eShop just prior to launch. The demo will feature a unique story not found in the main game, along with new jobs and areas to explore. And don't worry, your Street Pass tags and bonuses will carry over. Next up, NetherRealm Studios and Warner Brothers have announced Mortal Kombat XL. If you guys didn't get a chance to try Mortal Kombat X when it came out last year, I highly recommend taking a look at this version. This version of the brutal and gory fighting game will include the main game and all post-launch content. You'll get classic Mortal Kombat characters like Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Katana, plus the additional downloadable combat packs featuring new characters that you'll recognize, like the Z Xenomorph from the Aliens movie franchise, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre's Leatherface. It's worth noting that this version is only coming to consoles for Xbox One and PS4. Sorry PC players, but if you do want to get your hands on it, it's coming out March 1st. Lastly, we've got a new trailer for Far Cry Primal. The fifth installment in the Far Cry series is set in the Stone Age this time around, and players will take on the role of Takar, a member of the Winja tribe. As Takar, you'll not only face off against a variety of beasts like saber-toothed tigers, woolly mammoths, and more, but you'll go head-to-head -head with other warrior tribes like the cannibal Udam tribe and the fire-worshipping Izila tribe. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Andrea, it's 10,000 BC, there are no guns, and Far Cry is all about the guns. Now I know, you're right, but you'll have your trusty bow and arrow, spears, and other primitive weapons to do your dirty work. According to the PlayStation blog, there will also be a PS4 bundle featuring a 1TB jet black PS4 and a copy of the game disc when the game launches on February 23rd. Pam and I both recently got some hands on time with the game, so be on the lookout for her new Far Cry Primal video coming soon. And last week, I told you guys about the Tweet of the Week segment where I'm going to be featuring some content that I find on Twitter, and I couldn't not feature this awesome photo from at the hashtagonist. It features me as Femchep and Pam as Bayonetta. It is so awesome. I've always wanted to cosplay as Femchep. I just don't know how to make armor. It's kind of a custom job, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys have anything that you would like to share, be sure to tweet to me at Andrea Renee using the hashtag GND Weekly, and maybe you could be featured on the show. 
And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time.